Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be working on my 2008 GMC Sierra 1500. Uh, I was driving one day and all of a sudden my AC stopped working. What happened was I'd click it and it would just blink a couple times. Blink three times, they call it the blinking AC of death. Anyways, um, yeah, I haven't really got any cold air or anything, it just blows. So, today... I'm going to be well the first thing I did is make sure there's not too much pressure or or too little pressure in this this check portal right here and all I did was stick your finger down in there or a key and see if there's any pressure mine had a little bit of pressure so today I'm gonna to be switching the AC switch which is this guy right here I already unplugged it I just got to take it out and then I'm going to be adding some Freon to this portal right here. And then we're going to see how much that ha happens. I already got it loose. All I did was get a wrench and get down in there and get it loose. And I bought this part as a 37308 AC switch, pressure switch. Got the new one. And the old one. So I'm just gonna take this old one out. First thing I'm gonna do is actually turn the car back off and make sure the AC's all off. Everything's off. So everything's off now. And like I was saying, if you want to check the pressure, you could just stick a key going in this hole and you see I got very little pressure so that means I'm out of Freon also my AC switch is probably bad so I got this for about $20 and this for about 25 so let's go ahead and change the switch on here uh, let's see if this will fix my problem I got the old one off Looks like it's pretty residue in there Pop this new one on. And you want to make sure, because it is plastic on metal thread, so you want to make sure you don't put it too tight, but also not too loose. So I got about it as tight as I can go with my hands. I'm just gonna get this wrench. See if I can tighten it a little bit more. Would have been better if I just grabbed the right size wrench, but I'm just gonna grab in there and tighten it. about as tight as it's gonna go for now. I say you don't want to do it too tight because it is plastic on metal. You don't want to strip the plastic. So that's about as tight as it can be. Now I'm gonna plug it back in. If you can see right over here. You could put some dielectrical grease in there make sure it's pretty much like waterproof stuff like that but I don't have the time right now for that okay so my new pressure switch is in there now I'm going to add some Freon let me get this guy out the way for a second I'm just gonna put this guy over there Over 
here for a sec. I gotta tie this guy on here. Now I'm not guaranteeing this is gonna fix your problem, but hopefully it does mine. Now that this is on here nice and tight, we can take the cap off. Shake it up a little bit. You want to stir it around a little bit before you put it in. Alright, sorry about that guys. Now that I got it connected, I'm going to go ahead and add. Now they say you could add this full can, but my pressure is a little high, so I'm not going to add too much. Let's see if that did the trick. Now what you could do, since uh, my pressure was really high on mine, let some pressure out with your key on this one. Just let some pressure out. There might be some Freon that squeezes out. See, now there's a lot of pressure. Let some of that out of there. And add some more Freon. So once that's back on, nice and tight. We're gonna go here and add some more Freon. I do hear a little small hissing noise. That could be because the AC switch is not tight enough. So we're just gonna go ahead and try to see if we can get it a little bit tighter. coming out of there. Uh, I think we gotta get it a little tighter. Let's see, you didn't want to do this too tight, but I want that hissing to definitely go away. I'm probably going to take it off and put some, uh, some grease on it and then uh, pop it back on and start recording again. 